Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another installment slash episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. If you remembered, I left off in Lucas Stadium, but off-screen, I went back to the airship. So here we are. Now, before I head to my next mission, a few things I want to show you that I did off-screen. And it's important I show you now before I forget later. A couple things I actually want to show you that I haven't explained yet. First thing is first. The garment grids. You'll notice that Yuna has healing wind on. That is because I decided to equip it on her. And as you can see, I have her gunner and black mage next to each other. Because those are gonna I'm going to make her two main ones. And as a matter of fact, I want to change it. Because I put... If I go to the healing winds... Rearrange, yes. I put the attack thing, whatever you call it, the warrior on the bottom, but I actually want to switch that with Songstress, because I think that will benefit Yuna more. So, Yuna, you have Songstress on the bottom as a choice. Now, Vanguard, where did I get that from? Well, um, I don't know if you remember me mentioning that Shinra gives you a tutorial if you're curious on how to use Garment Grids. Well, if you actually are able to suffer through the tutorial, um, they, she gives you Vanguard automatically, which is a great starting Garmin Grid to have. What I want to do with this Garmin Grid is I want to make it central to Pain. And since I love having Pain as a warrior, I'm going to put her warrior um, grid right in the middle, and then I'm going to link it to pretty much every other dress fairs that we have. Black Mage... Um, think about this for a second. Actually, it would be more beneficial if I put that there. Because it crosses over magic. Okay. Gunner and Thief on the top. Cool! So I think that works out well. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to equip Pain with the Vanguard Garmin Grid. With the Warrior Dress Sphere by default. Cool. And now the coolest thing I like about this game that I haven't really explained yet. If I go to abilities and I go to each person. Now, Yuna, I always mainly consider her a gunner and a black mage. Those are the two things I use her for the most. With gunner, if I click gunner, you'll notice everything that she has uh, three stars in there, she's master. That means she learned all these abilities. And this one that's highlighted, 25 out of 30, is what she's currently learning in battle. Every time she goes into a battle and fights and whatnot, the points go up on these, so eventually it'll be 30 out of 30, and if you'll master it, then it'll unlock a new one. And that's how learning new abilities work in this game. It's very similar to Final Fantasy um, Tactics, and that's the thing I like the most about this game. It's just so incredible the way they do it, and very cr unique and creative. I wish they actually would have had this system for Final Fantasy X. I think that would have worked out even better, if you can believe that. So, that's her gunner. For Black Mage, when she switches there, you'll notice she has Fyra. That's what she's currently learning. I'm absolutely fine with that, and that's pretty good. If we go to Pain, she's mainly a warrior right now. She's learning Thunderblade, so I'm happy with everyone. what everyone's learning right now. Riku's learning um, Borrow Time, which inflicts stop on an enemy. Kind of useful, not really, but... All kind of cool. My plan in this game is to honestly learn as much things as I possibly can. So, anyways, I've wasted enough with that. Let's actually head out to our next mission. But before we do, um, you might remember when I was in Luca, I accidentally went to Meehan High Road. Well, we're gonna quickly go back there again, and the reason for that is because, being the dummy I am, I missed a treasure chest here. I might, I should have just gotten. Since I initiated the little uh, cutscene anyway. So we're going to do that. Get this treasure chest over here. Probably run into a battle along the way. And uh, that's all we really have to do here. Times two Phoenix Downs and... That's it. We didn't even run into a battle. Board airship. That's the only business we have here. So. Now our main objective and the next... The area we're going to be spending the next episode in, with the rest of this episode and the next, we're going to 
not the hot spots yet, but we're going to Mushroom Rock Road. So let's go. You might remember this place from Final Fantasy X. It's um, that beach area where we first, when we encountered Sin, and he pretty much just demolished the whole Albed operation. It was pretty, a pretty uh, emotional scene. Again. Hm. Maybe there's a sphere here. It's our turn to do the following. Yup. Okay, so we just want to head over here to Could some you very see familiar you again, faces. Late, you haven't forgotten me, have you? Uh. Yeah, bull. I have no idea who he is, but I don't want to sound like a jerk. So yeah, I remember yeah, you. Isn't it? You're in the Youth League. Ha! <laughs> you really do remember me. I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. Since that day we first spoke, the Youth League has been conducting a sphere hunt of its own. We, the Youth League? Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco, take it from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search. <clears throat> For ruins and spheres. Oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Yup. Of course Understood. we're ready for the fiends. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Class the go, headquarters. Class go. Show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Yeah, let's hunt some fiend. Poor Clasco. He just never, never... Oh, he's always a follower instead of a leader. Poor kid. Okay, now... One thing that's extremely important that you don't want to miss is you want to talk to Clasco. If you don't talk to him, guess what? Your 100% run is... is failed. Hmm. It's ruined. You seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Wait a minute, didn't I make you a chocobo breeder in Final Fantasy X? You know, all... Oh well. Next time, class go next time. So let's head along the road and finally we can start getting involved in a few battles here and there. The Youth League is a bit short-handed. Help them out by clearing out the fiends along Mushroom Rock Road. Fiends will attack more often under cover of fog. Proceed with caution. Now, I remember this very distinctly, and I hate this part. Because, you're going to notice that my screen is just going to go completely blue. Which really annoys me. I don't know why they added this to this point in the game, but... I used to think this was a bug with the game, but it's actually not a bug. What it is, is... Oh, nice eye drops. What it is is um, they try to make it like where you walk slower when it's bl really blue or whatever. But whatever, just keep trudging on through. It doesn't really matter. Kill everything. <laughs> nice. You want to use Riku Steel a lot because. It's going to be great to stock up on items, so almost every battle you're going to notice me stealing. Two potions. Nice. Up we go. Alright, let me see if I remember the way here. It's a little confusing, but I'm pretty sure... Which way? I don't remember. There they are. Come back. 
Come back! You guys are too fast for me! We're gonna get you. Another battle. More cake. dogs everywhere! Take out these stupid coyotes first. Don't hold out on me. You know what I want to do? I want to switch to the black magic sphere because I haven't really shown it off yet. Takers, keepers. So when it's Yuna's turn again, I will do that. No. <laughs> Here you go, Yuna. Let's let's check it out. Now this is really cool. Yuna actually, I think personally, looks really cool looking as a black mage. So here it is. Tell me that does not look cool. A storm of magic rages. Hell yeah, black magic. Let's use some fire. Take that. And she doesn't even get to cast it because Pain um likes hogging everything. <laughs> And remember, don't forget, the more you use your Dress Sphere, the more you level up that Dress Sphere for the particular character, so... Let's heal up a little bit. That should be good. And continue, we're heading down first. Treasure chest over here. There's a few treasure chests to be had here, not many. Now you're gonna notice, uh... When it gets dark, you're going to want to move slow. That's when you run into battles. But I really personally don't care. I'll fight the battles. I need the experience anyway, so... That's fine fine with me. And I believe there's another treasure chest here. Yep, the phoenix down. Battle! Oh no, we're ambushed. That's not good. Black magic, we will burn. The one bad thing with uh, magic in this game, black magic, white magic, is the casting time is just so long to do anything, but it does so much damage, so it's still worth it. <laughs> there you go. Let's care a little bit. Attack. Deal. More potions! One good thing is the steel works so well in this game. You, you almost like 99% of the time you'll steal something. And Riku leveled up. Very nice. I wonder if we're close to leveling anything yet. Let me see. If I go to abilities, Yuna, Black Mage. Ah, she got 7 out of 40 on fire. That's not bad. How about Riku? Actually, let me check Pain. 14 out of 20. She's almost learning Thunderblade. Okay. Looks like a dead end. Dead end! Nothing here! Let's continue. Up, my friends, with another treasure chest. Uh, and more battles. Eventually, I will edit these out. Oh, actually. We're running away. Escape. Now, I forgot, there's a way to run away with everybody at the same time, but the reason I ran away from that battle is because it's a Tonberry. We can come here later on and fight him, and they give a ton of experience for beating him, but right now we're nowhere near leveled enough to kill it, so don't even bother. Ooh, safe point. Nice. Come back to that in a brief second. Maybe. Thought there was a cave here or something. There is a cave here. What do we got in here? This one ain't no good. Nor this one. What are you doing? <gasps> Let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. Hey, they dropped something. Ooh, what can it be? Crimson Sphere 9! Yes, this is the ninth one. There's eight more. 
you will find out what these are for later on. But basically, if you come here, you can put Crimson Sphere 9 in. And once you get all of them, you come back here and you get something pretty cool. That's it. Hey, hey buddy. Long time no see. Remember me? Uh, no, but Glad I'll pretend to I do. How have you been? Oh, wait, I, I do remember Marota. And that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a sphere hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, yep. Pase's a sphere hunter now, too. He's the leader of the Kindergartians. Be nice to him if you see <laughs> him. Kindergartians. How's he, Saru? Uh. The Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. It was sealed Whoa. around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru? But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um. And Isaru? Isaru was pretty cool. I'm afraid this place is off limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. Excuse so, me, I I'll, came here first. Um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. You might remember Isaro in Final Fantasy X. He was one of the the main summoners who were on the pilgrimage along with y Yuna. Where he was trying to race her to the pilgrimage to defeat Sin, but he failed along the way. And something's up with them. They just won't tell us what. And this blue screen thing is normal, guys. I used to, I thought it was a glitch, but it's actually part of the game. So, okay, well. We did well for this episode. Let's save in a new slot. And we should have... 9% completed in the game. One whole other percentage. So that is all the time we have for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying. I know I am. We'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy X. Peace!